Hey, pretty peas, you wanna come with me and help me build a garden bed? You ready? Let's grow. You want to know how I turned this into this? Let me show you. I started by cleaning up my area and just removing all of these remains from the picket fence that we built. And then it was time for a quick trip to the hardware store, AKA my husband's garage. I took a bunch of scrap wood that we had lying around, some power tools and some screws. Then I made a swift getaway on his tractor with my accomplice. Now I needed to create a moisture barrier between my house and the garden bed and I didn't have any heavy plastic so I just used some of these black garbage bags that we had and I just cut right along the seam. This is only a temporary bed is, is only meant to last one season so it doesn't have to be super sturdy or perfect. It's only going to be here for a few months. Now that I have this set up, I'm going to build a frame. We'll drop that in and then finish our moisture barrier by again cutting along the seams of a garbage bag and turning it into somewhat of a tarp and laying it out. Once I have this completely situated, this is what I'm left with. And then I added some of this rotted hay that we were about to throw out, I rescued it and I'm going to use the rest of it in my compost. And then I added two bales of this organic garden soil that I bought at Lowe's. I'll go through and break up some of the larger chunks and make sure that I don't have any, you know, moldy bits or anything in there because I will want to remove that and then I'll do the same thing to the second one. Now the first one was a big job, so for the second one, I went ahead and let my son operate a tractor to get those bits broken up a bit faster. Then I added a few loads of this great compost that I made myself with a compost tumbler that my husband bought me last year. With each load, I will spread it out and then till it into the soil. Then I added some plant tone, just like regular plant food. And I also added some blood meal. I was doing the supervised, okay. but uh, the foreman here decided that I was not doing it properly and took over. If you want something done right, better do it yourself. Then I added Hi. some bone meal. <laughs> God, this stuff is dusty. Maybe do it a little bit closer. We'll scratch, scratch, scratch into the surface. And then it's time to give it a good water. Since I had my hose hooked up, I went ahead and gave the rest of my plants a drink as well. Look at them, aren't they so pretty? Now it's time to do some planting. In this garden bed, I went ahead and put some red and green bell peppers in there. I broke up the root ball before planting them, and then I saved the containers so that I can repurpose them as shoes for my toddler. Now, I have this great garden bed and these sketchy mofos, and they will destroy a garden faster than any pest, so it's, we have to cover it. I took the remains of my dead greenhouse. If you want to see a funny video, find that one and the associated short. I created a frame and used this deer net to create a barrier and then just used screws to secure it that I could unhook so that I still had access to it. Again, this is temporary and only meant to last a couple of months. Uh, so it is not as fancy as the great metal and wood frames that my husband built for the rest of my garden beds. It should work. But now I just Sandy. have to figure out how to keep the goat off the trampoline. Why are you on the trampoline? Like seriously, how did she even get in there? Thanks for watching. Subscribe.